Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today you join me at the beginning of my adventure into macro photography. So I'm using my trusty OM system OM1 with my newly acquired 60mm f2.8 macro lens from Olympus and a Mica MK320 flash and I am incredibly happy with these results. I mean, look how dinky this setup is as far as I'm used to using big telephoto lenses. This has just been an absolute joy to use. And I've been pairing it with this janky looking monstrosity, which is my homemade diffuser that just pops on like that and diffuses the flashlight. And yeah, loving it, absolutely loving it. It works perfectly. And for where I'm at now in my macro photography journey, it is exactly what I need. So yeah, I'm about to take you to Butterfly World. And in fact, I think I'm probably about to welcome you to Butterfly World. Welcome to Butterfly World in Swindon. As I may have already explained, I'm here with my new macro gear to photograph butterflies. Now, it's bloody humid in here, and it's really hot, but it's a gorgeous place to be. So many butterflies flying around, although I may have left this a little bit late to get them flying, but um, yeah, I've been having so much fun with this, and this dodgy uh, homemade diffuser. But um, yeah, the plan is, I'm just going to walk around this beautiful little area, get some photos, and uh, let you know how I get on. Settings wise, pretty much sticking at f8, got about one one hundredth of a second with the shutter speed, and then ISO varies on where I am. Um, and I'm using my Mica M320, sticking that on TTL, and I've found the best results in here. I've been setting the flash compensation for minus 0.7. It's an absolute godsend having TTO on your flash because it works with the camera, takes in what the camera's seeing and tries to decide how much flash intensity you need for that one shot. It just makes it so much easier than fully manual. What I'm working on today is, yes I could be going for butterflies in flight, but I don't really want to do it with my little macro lens, I'd probably use a telephoto for that. I'm just going for unstacked photos, close-ups, doing a lot of getting in on the wing detail. The level of detail you can get is phenomenal. It's like a whole other world. It opens your eyes up to a whole other world. It's going to be a fun day and a fun summer. Little bits of orange for the butterflies. Look how stunning. So the activity of butterflies very much depends on three things, and that is humidity, heat, and light. And somewhere like this, they provide heat, they provide humidity. What they can't change is how bright of a day it is. So 
if it's cloudy and overcast, you tend to get fewer flying butterflies. Like I say, for my purposes today, it's probably for the best because I'm wanting to go down, get some really tight in portraits, try and get some of that feather detail because it still astounds me how much detail you get with a lens like this. And there's one just there. been a bit of a whistle stop tour. I've bloody loved it. It's such a good way to come and practice your macro photography with beautiful subjects. Looking at the back of the camera, I am very pleased with the results that I've managed to get. I've only been here for about an hour and a half. Um, but with what is a pretty inexpensive macro lens, 250 quid, a budget flash, I think I got it for about 50 quid second hand. A handmade diffuser and not using any of the fancy stacking capabilities of my OM1. I think they're pretty good results. Um, I will be doing a video on using stacking and things within the OM1 and Olympus bodies. Um, so watch out for that at some point. And if anyone's interested in how I made this little diffuser, then do let me know, because it was very simple. And, spoiler alert, involved eating quite a lot of Pringles. Uh, I think I might also, on the macro side of things, this phone that I'm recording on, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, has got a very, very good macro lens on it. And I mean very good in terms of a phone. But I might do a phone versus camera test for the macro because it's the only the only type of subject that I think it may well hold its own on but we'll see anyway I'm really sweaty it's really hot in here so uh, I'm gonna call it a day thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one cheers <laughs>